I'm Pat Gunn, and we are playing Skyrim. And here we are in Markarth, right, right outside of the uh, the Jarl's uh, throne room. I guess it's a throne room. I'm not really sure if it was uh, if it was originally a throne room. It certainly is a majestic-looking room. So Markarth is neat architecturally because it was built uh, as um, built on top of ruins. Um, uh, Dwemer ruins. So the Dwemer, if you'll recall, they are a particular type of elf. The Dominion is here, and we're watching out. So th they're a particular type of elf that was obsessed with technology, and they're extinct now. What do you need? But they left all sorts of cool steampunk style t uh, stuff around. Here I will head back to Kalsamo. I have things to study. And this is more than I could have hoped for. I have to see. Please excuse me. And what? deliver the letter. And he is gonna head over. And let's follow him. Because we are being slightly creepy and prying into the affairs of imaginary characters. I used to be in a Just like anybody reading a book. Okay, so we're done there. So there is a lot more to do in Markarth. Particularly, uh, you can uh, go and explore some uh, Dwemer ruins. But for now, we would really like to finish up this uh, this matchmaker quest before we um, before we head back into the dungeons. Because I think I mentioned that the reward gives you um, gives you something like a 15 or 20 percent magic resistance. That stacks with any other magic resistance you have, and it stacks linearly. So um, it is very helpful. So we're going to head back outside. And we're going to fast travel back to uh, back to um, Riften, if we can manage to click on it. With all these quest markers in the way, it gets a little bit ridiculous. There we go. And we'll head back to the Temple of... Um, uh, not Mirabella, Temple of... The Temple of the Relationship God. And we can take a look at this nice shiny sword while we wait. So yeah, Dwemer Ruins, they're awesome. And there are steampunk style enemies that have somehow survived the millennia since the Dwemer died. Which goes to show that they really were pretty awesomely advanced. But of course, uh, the fact that they're no longer around shows that they uh, obviously were not perfect. Mara, that is the name, not Mirabelle. Mirabelle is the name of the uh, the assistant main wizard back in the College of Winterhold. I think Mirabelle Irvine. I think that was her name. Okay, so this is um, the last super involved part of uh, this quest. Oh, I need to put this thing on. I'll 
to remember to switch back to the Temple of uh, Dabella, or I mean the Amulet of Dabella later on. And I need to wander way out here into the middle of nowhere to uh, uh, to go help these guys. We're going to fast travel back to the Western Watchtower, which is where we fought the first dragon in the game. And we will begin the long hike west. There are not a lot of wood elves in the game. I imagine that they're more common in other parts of um, Tamriel, which is the world that Skyrim is set in. So Skyrim is just a, um, a province of, uh, of Tamriel. So yeah, we're going to keep on heading west. That is where Space Core fell from the sky and we grabbed him. Up here is somebody in armor walking towards me. Who this are you? Some trouble. I probably shouldn't tell everyone who asks. This is important business, you know. You want to pay me to do my job? Just make sure you take care of whatever's going on there. It's my Okay, cool. Line. Free uh, free chest, but there's something going on. Oh. Yeah, looks like there is a dragon up there. Well, as we are the dragonborn, I suppose it is our sacred duty or something to help with uh, with dragons. Oh, it looks like we have a little bit of help. Somebody is sending fireballs at the dragon. Are you gonna land? And if so, where? Oh, we have some guards helping us out. Sweet. Um, guess we're gonna pull out our sword. Sometimes dragons end up in uh, silly fights with other monsters, which is great because if you're quick, you can kill both. What is going on over here? I'm not sure what the dragon was fighting. And this is a frost-type dragon. Okay, please land. Sweet. And it somehow managed to take a good amount of damage already. So. Sweet. Yeah, because I was fighting a dragon, Mr. Guard. Uh, let's scoop that stuff up. And let's heal while we're at it. So apparently, when you kill a dragon, oh, well I guess it's not going to happen this time. Oh yeah, it will. So killing a dragon isn't remarkable, but swallowing its soul is. And I always find it funny, like... You, uh, you end up killing a dragon, nobody takes notice, they all just kind of wander off, and then once you swallow its soul, then everybody is suddenly all like, wow, that is amazing. Oh yeah, so we picked up uh, a quest from this uh, character here. In the past, whenever I've tried to persuade her to, uh, to just tell me what she's doing, now I have some time to kill. she... Uh, she turned me down and just ran off to take care of whatever it is. This time I gave her 50-something gold. Okay, so this is another um, hole that has fallen into ruin, and I think some bandits normally have it. Get some more alchemy ingredients. Come on, Mr. Butterfly. Or Mrs. Butterfly, or Miss. I've never sought to inquire after the uh, either the gender or the relationship status of butterflies. So maybe now that I'm wearing an amulet of Tabella, it might be suddenly my business. Anyhow. Okay, still have to head a good ways west. Mm, 
are those bandits? I guess not. Bandits probably would have attacked me by now, just for being that close. So, I will continue on my merry way. And let's actually keep a bow handy. At some point I really will have to get a better bow. Or make a better bow. So bandits in the game serve kind of an important backup role. And that if you, for some reason, decide not to, um, not to level smithing, and not to level enchanting, then you will still frequently encounter bandits, and occasionally at higher levels they'll be uh, they'll drop some nice gear. So if you're patient, you can eventually get some of the nicer gear in late game rather than crafting it. And there is a person over there. Not sure what what they're up to. All right, hand over your valuables, or I will gut you like a fish. Oh come on, I'm a Kashyyyk too. Nice. I am not going to ask again. Don't you walk away from me. Okay, I'm gonna definitely switch to close combat weapon here. Sweet dancing. And we're going to do a shout to slow him down for a second. And this is what I, I meant earlier when I said that unrelenting uh, force can give you a nice little edge in combat if you manage it right. Aha! So this, these... Some of this gear I might actually use. Um, So let's heal ourselves up. Let's see. So apparel. Right now I am wearing leather armor. And it's improving my man, uh, my Magicka regen and it has a strength of 32. Elven armor, strength of 33. But I haven't improved this yet. Uh, and it doesn't have that enchantment. So I'm not going to wear it right now, but I might put it on later. Elven boots. Armor of 10, Imperial Light Boots, Armor of 8, and I have not enchanted these. Elven Boots are immediately better. And I guess I'm not actually going to use the Mage Hood. I'm just going to drop this. And now I'll continue on. So I did not plan that, but that just ended up being a great example of what I, uh, what I was talking about. There's a butterfly. Hello, butterfly. Sorry, butterfly. I want to take you. Ooh. So, soul trap in the left hand, blade sword in the right. And we will take your skin and your soul. But yeah, as, as you noticed, I caught another disease from the wolf, and I'm going to have to, uh, to fix that at some point. For now, we're taking a quick detour to the south to visit the giant camp, just to mark it on our map. Okay, Let's see if we can manage to find the, the chest of the giants. Usually they have a chest and loot it before we go running off. Oh, that's a purple tree. wonder if it's a special tree or if it just happens to be lit in a way that makes it purple. I don't think I've noticed it before. No, and I'm not seeing chest, although I am seeing a Nern root. And yeah, that's really weird. And I'm hearing another Nernroot. 
Oh, right there. And two butterflies. Okay, maybe it's okay that I'm not seeing a chest. This is turning out to be pretty helpful. Anyhow, we're going to continue on our way. I am kind of curious about that purple tree, but... Gonna keep on moving. And this is another thing for us to mark on our map, a cave of some sort. Oh. And an ore vein. So let's scoop up a little bit of ore. Again, the reason we're doing this is to help us with, uh, with our smithing which eventually we're going to actually want to spend some time working on. And here's the actual entrance to the cave, but I don't think this is where we're headed. No, we're headed a little bit northwest of here, although we're pretty close to where we want to be. Westwards. And that looks like the place marker for what we want. Oh, a pillar. And what looks like a ghost of some kind. Normally, ghosts, at least fairly often, they're hostile, not always. So there's, it's a monument. I'm searching for my Fenric. I've turned up. Please help me, Lord. He has a... Are you a fool? Look at the bodies around you. Even if you're blind, surely you can... Come, help me search for Fenric. Okay, so I don't think that there actually is a Fenric here, but... She seems a little bit off, but let's find Fenrig using our handy map feature. Okay, so to get there, we're going to fast travel back to Fort Greymore and head a little bit northwest of there. So yes, thank you, Magic Compass. So I think these are Thalmor boots. So the Thalmor have a stronger presence in some cities in Skyrim than others. Northwest. And actually I'm wondering if Fort Greymoor is one of those forts that has... No. Some forts uh, actually have a main entrance on each side and you can just walk right through, uh, right through them if they haven't been uh, barricaded. This is not one of those forts. So we're going to continue this way. Ah, neat. We can get our feet wet. We... Uh, oh. Well, that's inconvenient. I guess it's too high to climb up out of the water on the other side. Well, I guess we'll have to stay up on the side here. Now, where's the water going? Uh, looks like it's going a crack in the ground further down. Okay, so let's make sure we're still headed in the night right way. We're a little bit off. And looks like the giant is fighting something. Is Whoa! What was that? Oh, it was a crab. So yeah, that, that was that goofy uh, physics trick that I was talking about earlier, where because of the way the physics engine of this game works, 
when something is killed, the blow that killed it, the energy uh, in that blow is then converted to uh, the dead body. And the conversion factor is very high. So he wants to be reunited with his wife. Okay, and I just need to bring uh, him to her. And that's pretty easy with fast travel. And yes, we visited Azura's temple, although it was kind of dark, so you might not have easily spotted it. Well, no, neither of you are actually alive. So apparently ghosts, are, uh, their minds might not come right from right after their uh, their bodies die. At least maybe that's the takeaway lesson. Okay. So we'll head back and report that we have reunited the ghosts. And that they are impersonating Puma Man. Though I don't think that they're going to make baby ghosts. Not sure how that works. I can't wonder with all these um, video games that have weapons. Um, I mean, I guess that most of them have weapons. All these video games set in ancient times that have weapons how often they end up missing out on uh, on comfort things or feature things that actual weapons at the time had. Like were the grips on swords actually always that solid and unpadded? Or did they frequently, like did people frequently... Well, actually I am feeling sick, I should fix that. All diseases cured? Sounds good. Your efforts have helped illuminate. Carry the blessings of Morrow so the rest of the province may shine. Rifted. All I need is a messenger to bring. Here you are. Now make sure you. Almost anyone in. A word of advice. Okay, so we can irritate people with Mara's uh, religious literature? Of course. Right now, the best you could provide is. Thank you. I can promise you that this will be put to good use. Okay, so now I think we have that permanent buff. Let's double check. Ah, I'm doing it wrong. It's under magic, active effects. I thought that there was a section in here for, oh yeah, Agent of Mara, plus 15 resist magic. So yeah, that's very useful in improving your survivability. And while we're here, let's... Looking to stay alive? Why take a chance? You might notice that I'm not actually spending a lot of time you gonna buy something? Um, a crafting stuff. That's because there's another permanent buff that we're going to get uh, in a little bit that will improve how much we learned from our attempts to craft. And, uh, and so if you are saving your materials, which you probably should do, let's see, then you generally want to use them after you have that, uh, that permanent buff. 
I don't tend to use that. Um, I don't need skooma or stamina potion. Poison rather. Oh, huh. interesting. So she's really accepting almost anything I want to sell her, which is good. Sell the ale, the wine. All the bread, cheese. Yeah, this is heavy. And, uh, okay, well, that's all she has. Come back when you're ready to that's gold cool to buy. I wonder if he'll buy any of my other, uh, Thank you for the blessing. I'll put this to good use. Looking to protect yourself? So I don't actually remember what the benefits are to handing out this, uh... Oh, so Elven Boots and other stuff. So how can we... We need refined Moonstones to improve Elven gear. So let's see if he has any. Take a look. No, he doesn't. Okay, that's fine. He does have a lockpick I can buy. I will buy it. And there's nothing else Remember he wants. Let's keep on handing these out. I presume. Excellent. I needed some more kindling for my kitchen hearth. So she is a very powerful person in the city. But she's also a douche. Oh, I did not mean to. Oh well, wasn't paying attention. Clinic brings food. Other than that, they seem like a quiet lot. Okay. I don't really know too much about them. Surely there are more people around. Yeah. Hmm. Greetings, honored friend. Could I interest you in some fine jewelry? Safe travels, Madam Stranger. Wait, did I already? What in the name of oblivion do you watch? So you'll occasionally hear references to Oblivion. Oblivion is both the name of the game that was immediately uh, prior to Skyrim in the Elder Scrolls series, and it's also actually a set of realms where all the. Uh, is there something I can do for you? Interesting. It's also the place where all the deities. All right. I'll end. The walls have ears. And you're being it's also the place where all the uh, Daedric deities uh, live in the game. Ah, well, I paid Sibby. I want you to talk to Sibby for me. Then I want you head to the Rift and okay. and talk to Sibby. You'll be well paid for your time. I hold my own beliefs, but thanks. Ed. You have your students. You told me that I visit the temple sometime. So perhaps not often enough. Welcome back. Thanks for bringing this to me. Thank you. I'll share this with Aaron. Mules brought. They already gave one to Aaron. Oh. If your allegiance is slain, Mara this, Mara that. Where is she when hundreds of stormcloaks are dying for no good reason? Eh? Look, the only religion I believe in is the good old sect. So her beliefs are a little bit closer to um. Closer to mine than anyone else here. But oh well. Did I My skill in battle is up. If you change your mind, seek me out here. That does remind me, I need to take care of that task for Chisargo. Because I would like him to join me. I presume you're bothering. Watch what you're doing. I imagine the kids are probably a little bit young to be given these pamphlets. Of course, I haven't read them, but they might be very lewd. Probably not, though. No, no, wait, wait. When Aventus took off, when he said those things, I can't believe really, really, really. Oh, yeah, can't give it to the kids, and she is still freaked out because, uh, because she saw me kill Grella the Kind. So I guess I can't give her the, uh... How can a humble 
answer. Oh, get this awful paper away from me by Talos. So she's a priest of Talos, and she's not particularly thrilled to uh, be receiving literature for other deities. Um, there are more people around usually that will uh, take these pamphlets, but I'm not having, I'm not seeing them out right now. It might just be that it's kind of late in the day. Pop into Helga's bunkhouse and see if there's anyone here who will take them. Brothers and sisters, have you heard the word? If you're looking for a huh? Oh, sure, whatever. This heap of the bunkhouse is for the working man. Not a my niece Vanna. She's been with me ever since her parents were killed by bandits. And she okay, that's fine. I'm beginning to think if Riften is the so what if I have a Mara only helps those who can afford her ties. This is nonsense. And Sorry. thank you. But work. Ever since my so now I'm stuck living here. It's not just do you know she slept with three just for once? I'd like to see actually there it you see, I happen to know after she makes love, if you confront her with three of the marks. Oh the you need to get the marks of Debella from both then just confront Helga with them. Okay, so that is a tough quest, at least until you get the pickpocket skill up a lot higher. So, chances are we're not actually going to be able to do that, <coughs> but that's fine. With the game, so long as you don't have a, a quest um, selected, it won't clutter your... Uh, won't, won't clutter your quest bar. How am I... How do I get out of here? <clears throat> okay. So... So we're going to pop up to Windhelm and tell the kid that we ended up killing the, uh, the woman who's, who runs the orphanage that he escaped from. <clears throat> what this will do is it will start, um, or it'll set in motion what needs to happen for the Assassin's Guild line of quests to start. So the Assassin's Guild uh, quests, they are a lot of fun. They do involve one of the most irritating NPCs in, uh, in video game history, though. And now that I've, uh, I've run through it with two prior characters, I'm probably not going to be doing it anymore because it does involve doing some kind of objectionable things. Let's see, where is the kid? Um, I think he is up here somewhere. Yeah, I think he's within this within this store. Well, they're all the kind. Is she, you know? Uh -huh. Here, just like I promised. This should fetch you a nice price. Thank you. Thank you again. Well, the kind. Is she, you know? Yeah, so that's a little bit glitchy at times. So he gave us uh, one of his family heirlooms. We'll end up taking anything else that we can grab that he doesn't mind us grabbing. He's kind of a creepy little kid. Salt pile mead. Okay, so that's a little bit more of the background of his story that I have not actually read before. If you want to, you can actually hop over to that um, that bit of his house. There's nothing interesting over there, though, so 
<clears throat> so yeah, we are going to continue this time. In a murder over in Rifta. Some old lady who runs an orphanage. We're one of the same kind, you and I. I'm glad to have met you. Oh, so that is a miscellaneous stuff store. I think this is a bar. Oh, I think there's a skill book that's uh, in the bar somewhere. So we're going to pop in and see if we can just borrow it to uh, skim through and get a skill from it. Let's say hi. Apparently some Nord women were murdered. Not sure why. None of that matters to me. Until someone takes a d Well, you see where we have to live. Good luck. I'll try to get Ulfric to even come down here to see the squall. Mm. Drink for the thirsty. Do we have anything that we don't need that we can sell to him? Yeah, some wine. More goat cheese. Sell most of our mead. There are some characters in the game where if you give them mead, they'll uh, react nicely. So I tend to try and keep a little bit of mead on hand. And let's head up. Okay, here is a book that improves our sneaking. We don't need to take it, we just need to open it and read it for a second. It's kind of handy. And here is a book that improves our alchemy. Also nice. <coughs> If we're feeling a little bit braver, we could try and take some of that stuff, but there's holes in the floor. And I'm not entirely confident that uh, that nobody would notice us taking stuff. And I thought the gray quarter would be a haven for my kind. I was wrong. Okay, nothing more to do in here. So we will continue and head out. What are you guys looking at? I was one of the best soldiers in the Stormcloak army. Beyond the look, oh, after what happened to those other women, mm -hmm. I'm worried about my own safety. Okay, so <clears throat> that's where the Jarl lives. But I'm going to leave him alone for now. And uh, let's see, what else is there to do before... Let's see if we can actually go get Azura's Star. The next step in that quest is really tough. But, um, but getting the star isn't too bad. So we're going to uh, head in that direction now and stop just outside of the dungeon where the star is residing. In the next uh, Let's Play, uh, we'll be heading into that dungeon and, um, <clears throat> and hopefully retrieving the star. But we're going to have that star on us uh, for a long time, and it's not going to be useful for anything. The problem is that when you bring the star back to uh, to the wizard in Winterhelm, so let's see, we are heading west and slightly north. When you bring the star back to the person who can fix it, uh, it turns out that there is an errand that we need to run that's inside the star. And that errand is quite difficult. And we are not nearly strong enough to be able... Uh, ooh! We're not even close to being strong enough to handle that, uh, that errand with the level that we're at now. Fighting rats. Guess it's a part of almost every video game. Oh, there's a cabin up here. Well, let's learn where it is. 
and then we'll pr uh, proceed onward. Uh, let's see, can I make it up this hill? No, I guess I have to run around to this. Grab some thistle. <coughs> Okay, there is a cabin, and we are heading due west towards a castle. Okay, just made that jump. So if I remember right, where we... Oh, there's a wolf. And I'm hearing something chasing me. Or maybe not. Might just be the uh, wolf hanging out. That's good. That's good. So yeah, there's a cave up here. And we can learn the location of the cave and then keep going to where we're going. <clears throat> oh, come on. There's the cave, and our destination is still due west. And this time we see on our compass where we're going. And now we can actually see in real life where we're going. Now let's swim west. So it looks like this is a tower that that used to have a walkway leading to it, and that walk walkway has fallen in. And the tower itself may have either sunken or the water level rose around here. Whoa, hello, m mud crab. I heard you like mud crabs. Oh, there's another one down there. See if we can grab it's a Triton. I'm not sure what a Triton is. Might be something worth looking up before I uh, start the next video. Yeah, this is the entrance to where we uh, where we'll be going. But we'll uh, I'll see you in the next video where we will hopefully re retrieve Azura's star.